four in the morning. Welcome to How Inez Rolls. Ah, I just woke up and welcome to my day in the life. Ah. So yes, it is five in the morning. I'm here drinking my first of four, usually every day of my water and getting everything ready. I had to wake up Jonas for high school. They go pretty early. So I thought I'd get him some breakfast going, just some of these toaster strudels that have bacon, egg, and cheese in them. So this is his first time trying them. So you just gotta pop them in the toaster. But I thought I'd also show you, dun, 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 the bread recipe, the bread dough recipe. So I'm so excited to show that to you. It just needs to proof all day. So that's why I thought I'd get a head start right now. So let me get these in the toaster and I'll start showing you the recipe. All right, so we're starting with three cups of flour. So we're using Kamut flour and then we're going to do half of a teaspoon of yeast. Just right on top of the flour. So this is gonna be an artisan bread and one teaspoon of salt. So get that all in there. And then the only, the last ingredient is um, one and a half cups to two cups of warm water. All right, and that's it. So, so far I have about, I don't know, one and a half cups-ish. I know I'm gonna end up needing all of it, I believe, the two whole two cups. So I'm just working it in. Um, I So I just kind of turn on my hot water and you know how it doesn't get like super hot, but it kind of starts it getting warmer. That's like perfect, the temperature that I need. So just kind of work this. Now I have a dough hook, but you could use, you know, a spoon. Now this doesn't have to be over kneaded. It's an artisan bread, so it's supposed to be rustic looking. And that's kind of why I love making it is because I don't have to like babysit it while it's going. All right. So depending on your region too, you may not need um, the whole two cups. It's pretty dry here in Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, it's smelling already good. Imagine four ingredients, right? I'm making sure there isn't any um, flour residue on the bottom. I think we are done. <laughs> and so what we're doing now is we're going to be covering this, um, not all the way because it needs some of that air to proof and to like release the gases. Um, and so we're gonna be leaving it here on the counter undisturbed for at least eight hours. So I have this this little lid for my container, but you could put like a, a dish towel or um, you could even put like a plastic wrap with like maybe like a little opening on the side. And so we're just gonna leave that on the counter for eight hours. We'll see it soon. All right, I just helped Jonas get his lunch ready, water ready. He gets picked up around 5.45 and then I can start getting ready. Oh, just like this. Ta-da! Now I'm ready for my day. I just love wearing this dress. I probably have been wearing it a lot lately just because it's just so comfy and oversized. It's just so nice to wear, it's comfy. So it's breakfast time. It's at like eight o'clock. I've already done some laundry. I got some laundry started. You probably don't want to see all of that. But I wanted to show you what the dough looks like three hours later from the bread dough. So it's looking really good. So let me show you. All right, take a look at that. It's almost all the way to the top. So we're just going to let it do its proofing. So I am going to be doing the next step around 1, 1.30 or so in the afternoon, which is still a good like four, five hours away. So we have some time to let that kind of rise some more. I might push it down. I do have the, the, um, the dough hook 
the dough scraper on top of it ready to go. So doesn't that just look so good? So I'm just gonna get some breakfast going for I for Ezra and I, um, and then we'll start our homeschool. Are now taking vitamins so here's Ezzy's so I just give them an extra vitamin C and I'm I, I have my vitamins in here so I'm just grabbing my my daily dosage for the day and I'm actually adding another um, thousand milligrams of vitamin C so I have two thousands I've worked up to it though so we're in a good place so I just give him uh, a 500 chewable so, right, it's good for this time of what, keeping good health. Let me know down below if you are taking some supplements or extra vitamins. Uh, it's just to keep your immune system working, right? So, oh, and this is my number two cup, you guys, of four. It's easy to drink extra water. Definitely, like, take your supplements. You'll probably drink a whole glass. But just kind of keep them on the counter and then every time I walk by I just drink a little bit more. Now let's do some schoolwork. <laughs> Before we get started, um, Ezra is watering the plants for me so I thought I'd take this time to show you a little bit more about how I keep track of his homeschooling. So I have been doing homeschooling a very long time and pretty much I like to just keep track. These little squares here, we just check them off as we've completed assignments. So as you can see here, we have math, which I love using these Spectrum math books, but then I also have some other like math books right here and some supplement stuff that we can um, uh, use to help with lessons. For language, I have a couple of language here. Like we use the good and the beautiful. And I also use this grammar and writing here from K5 Learning. This is my first time using that. So this the verdict is still out with this one. So I'm just happy to use some different um, curriculums that we can. I've been piecing together. And so with that, when I use these, um, I will also use um, like these vocabulary books to help with that. And then some spelling lists that I have from superteacherworksheets.com. But when I'm using the good and the beautiful, it has everything in there. So we'll use this like Thursdays and Fridays. And then um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is like this other stuff. Um, we have here just some, you know, some fun language or reading comprehensions. And then we're doing some geography. And then I have this great book that we've started to, to go with um, our geography. Last year we did a lot of science. So now we're gonna do some geography, history, and a little bit of science as well. Um, and then he chose this book to start reading. So we, I just kind of lay everything out and then we just start putting things away. And then this is kind of fun. It's just because we do lots of like um, handwriting stuff. So this is like, it scratches. <laughs> Let me show you. Like you can, you can see if you scratch, right? It, it's so cool. So he can do cursive that way. So we just do one little sheet every other day or so. And then he does some other alternate um, where he writes quotes in a quote book. So that's fun. You ready to get started? So it's like 8.30, I think, right now. Let me double check. Yep, 8.35. Let's see how long it takes us to finish. Are you Mark? Get set, go! <laughs> So while Ezra is working, there are some things that he doesn't need me for. So that's when I walk around the house to get my steps. 
So I'm committed to 10,000 most days. So can you believe it's 1.30 already? Ah, so basically I've just been like walking and um, cleaning all the things. So laundry, putting it away, um, cleaning bathrooms. <laughs> ah, so now it's time to take a look at this um, bread dough. And so it didn't rise too much more, but look at all those bubbles. That's what we want to see. So I'm just going to take my, my whisk, my dough hook. Hmm. I wonder what it's called, but we're just going to kind of give it a, a quick kind of fold it in on each other. Let me bring you closer. So you can see I'm just kind of, um, it's kind of like a kneading. So I'm just letting it, um, those gases escape. And then we're going to put it into a greased pan here. All I did was spray some, just some cooking spray, no biggie. And so I'm just gonna put this in here. And this is why I wanted to learn how to just do one loaf at a time, because um, I can control more if I have one loaf, right? I can control how many slices I have and um, I don't have to like freeze it or anything like that. Um, and it just, I think it's just such a good thing to kind of always have that knowledge of just making one loaf of bread. So this is artisan, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to cover this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pull out some plastic wrap. You could use a, a dish towel. I'm gonna just kind of like leave it a smidge, just kind of lightly put it on top. Okay. And then we're gonna let that sit for another hour. So you gotta give yourself some time, but you know what, you have within 24 hours to complete this process. I've just done it for eight hours, um, but you can let it go for 24 hours. Now I will say the longer it, it does go, like the more sourdough it has, that taste of sourdough. So I really like that as well. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this aside and I'll see you in an hour. All right, it has been an hour. So I'm preheating the oven at 400 degrees. And so I'm going to get a piece of foil here and just lightly spray it on one side because we're going to cover, I'm gonna take this plastic wrap off and I'm going to cover it with this so that it doesn't stick to it or anything. And I'm gonna kind of loosely wrap it. Just kind of loosely wrap. It's not gonna rise too much more, but in case it does want to rise, it's going to have some room up there to do that. So what we're gonna do right now is put this into the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes take the foil off and let it bake for 10 more minutes so it can get that nice crusty top. So it smells so good. Mm, I can't wait to have it with our dinner tonight, which I need to get started on. Mm. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. Ooh, it's still a little hot. I, I'm gonna let it rest for a second and then I'm gonna put it out on the counter and slice it away. Woohoo! All right, it's right here. It smells so good. And what's so great about this is that it's four ingredients. Remember, it's three cups of flour, two uh, one and a half to two cups of warm water, a half of a teaspoon of yeast, and a teaspoon of salt. And so there's something really good about just knowing what is exactly in your bread recipe. I have a really good bread, another bread recipe that I really love that has like milk and sugar and like all the things, right? But this is like, almost like a, to me feels like a bit on the primitive side. I don't know, like it, and it's so good to me. So I've actually been favoring this bread. Oh, look at that, you guys. Mm, little bit of butter. And this is gonna be the perfect addition to our dinner tonight, which is making some baked potatoes with some broccoli cheddar soup, but I also have some leftover barbecue beef that I'm gonna add into there too. So that will be delicious. And um, then I'll be taking you with us tonight 
as we go to soccer. Dinner is served. Yum. It's just cream of chicken soup with some cut broccoli, a handful of cheddar cheese, and whatever meat you'd like. Normally I do chicken, but today we did some leftover steak and it's served over baked potatoes. Yum. All right, so we're at the soccer fields. We are Monday through Thursday. We are at the fields with some kid practicing, but it's so great. As he's just practicing, but his is tomorrow night. It's Jonas's tonight. Look how pretty the sky looks. We're getting a little change of weather tomorrow. The temperature, we're supposed to get a thunderstorm tomorrow. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look at these ones over here, those clouds. Wow. They are beautiful. We are just finishing up with our soccer practice. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel and following the day in the life today. It's so much fun, even though it's been so long. <laughs> Let me know down below if you are going to try that bread recipe. It is so good. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thanks for stopping again and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.